everyone. It's me, Molly. Molly up the Nolly. Snowshoe, she is ready to explore. From Cactobal down to Juno, always wanting to learn more. Yeah. Together with her best friend, to be always by her side. And Trini! Discovering the outdoors on adventures day and night. Come along with Wally. Wally. Through fields of fire, we come along with Wally. Wally. From Tundra to the sea. Must see Joe. Let's go! Wally. Ready for a rematch? I was born ready. Okay, it's me, Chewie, and Oscar versus Trini, Vera, and Jake. Same teams as last time. <laughs> right. And also, just like last time, we're gonna win. Yeah, I don't think so. Because this time, whoever wins will be crowned greatest, most awesomest at basketball in all of Alaska. And the world. And also the galaxy. Technically, there's no way to prove we're the best in the galaxy. Hey, if there's another planet out there where they play basketball, I say bring it on, aliens! Let's go! Freeze! <laughs> I just finished repaving that concrete and it's still wet. It's going to take most of the day for it to dry. Aw, I really wanted to play basketball. Now we'll never know who's the greatest in the world and also the galaxy. Well, if we can't play basketball, what else can we play? Hey, I've got a great idea. But first, we're gonna need to be unfrozen. Oh, sorry, unfreeze. <gasps> Let's go. So we're gonna play dodgeball? Why'd we have to come here? Because we're going to play Koyakon dodgeball, which means we need a big hole. Suki's been working on that one all spring. <laughs> Thanks, Suki. Masi. So, how does Koyakon dodgeball work? It's really fun. We all take turns trying to throw this ball into the hole. If you make the shot, you run to the hole. And if I can hit one of you with the ball, I get a point. <laughs> and Jake. Huh? Oh. One point for Molly. My turn. Whoa. I meant to do that. <laughs> that was a super cool shot, though. Too bad it doesn't count for bonus points. <gasps> Maybe it should. But that's not how you play Koyakon Dodgeball. Well, maybe we're not playing Koyakon Dodgeball. Maybe we're playing the uh, everyone make up your own rules game. Huh? And in the everyone make up your own rules game, that shot was worth four points. One, two, three, four. I love it! Except for the super long name. I'm going to call it Molly Ball. Yes! Three trees, eight points. I am so good at Molly Ball. Who wants to make up the next rule? Ooh, Why so do I? Rules. Off the side of the picnic table. Three points! Oh. Woo -hoo! Yeah! 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 One, two, three. Eyes closed with a double bounce. Adelchik, Marok, Penayun, Stalman, Tatsima, 
bounce off the score pad. Wait, what? Six points! Okay, okay. You guys are really good, but let's see if anybody has what it takes to pull off the nine point miss it and you're out super shot! Whoa. Molly Bowl just got real. How does it work? To pull off a nine pointer, first you have to bounce the ball super high, then have it land on the trading post porch. Next, it has to bounce off the picnic table and land in the hole. Got it? I think so. Can you repeat the first part again? And the middle part? And the last part? <laughs> I'll do something even better. First, the ball bounces. Then it lands on the porch. Then it bounces off the picnic table and into the hole. If you make it, that's nine points. But if you miss it, you're out. <gasps> Hmm. Toss me that molly ball. Ah! Whoa! Oh, Nelly! <gasps> Not again. Woo! Nine points! Yeah! Touchdown and a hole in one. Now, toss me that marker. Okay, for 10 points. First, you spin in a circle three times, then you have to drop kick the ball into the hole. Miss it, you're out. You're on. <sighs> Aww. Oh well, I'm out. Whew, good game, guys. Uh, see you later. I'm gonna go home and lie down. First, you bunny hop across the yard with the ball between your knees. Then, you have to drop it in the hole as you jump over it. Miss it, you're out. Oh, man. Oh, well. See you later. I call it the Oscar shot. First, you walk up next to the hole. Then, you drop the ball into the hole. And then, you're out of the game. I'm out. Oscar, did you make a rule just to get out of the game? Sorry, Molly. I have fiddle lessons in 10 minutes. See ya! Oscar rule! I'm out too. Where do you have to be? Nowhere. My hand's just cramping up from all this scorekeeping. This was a lot of fun, though. Let me know who wins! Looks like we're tied. I don't know about you, but I can keep this up all day. Me too. Five hundred points. A thousand points. A million points. No! So hey, here's a question. How many points do you have to get to win Molly Ball? Good question. Right now, we both have 25 million points. So let's say the rule is first to 30 million points win. Well, that's great, because I just came up with the five million point Molly catch. What's that? <laughs> if Molly catches the ball, I get five million points. Except you forgot about the five million point Mr. Batook rule. Mr. Batook, how big were those antlers on the moose you saw last week? Oh, I'd say about this big. That's five million points for me, and we're tied again, which means the game keeps on going. Thanks, Mr. Batook. Bye! <sighs> if I can bounce the ball off the flagpole, it's 11 billion points. Okay. But if you miss, it's 11 trillion for me. Yes! Oh no! <gasps> the wet concrete! 
Wow, the concrete is dry. We've been playing Molly Ball all day. <sighs> no wonder I'm exhausted. So, you do realize that as long as anyone can make up rules, this game is never going to end. <sighs> yeah, I know. But this game is so fun. I kind of don't want it to end. Plus, I've never lost a single game of Molly Ball, and I kind of don't want to lose my streak. Hey, do you two want to play basketball with us? Sorry, guys. We're still in the middle of a Molly Ball game. What's Molly Ball? Come on, we'll show you. You guys, Molly Ball is so much fun. But how do we know who wins? How does it end? Maybe it doesn't have to. The whole point is to make up whatever rules you want. Well, I'm making a rule that Molly Ball can't end. It's up to you two to keep the game going. Right, and you can keep adding whatever rules you want. And if your move has a lot of steps, you can make a diagram like this to explain it. And when you're ready to stop playing, teach someone else how to play and let them take over the game. I like that. Bet you can't make an upside down 13 pointer. Bet you I can. So, what do you want to do tomorrow? Finally play some basketball? Maybe. But I've actually got this idea for a new game. It's called Trini Ball. Trini Ball? We're gonna need some tennis balls. A lot of tennis balls. Like 20 tennis balls? Way more than that. 50 tennis balls? It's like you've never played Trini Ball before. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Molly here to answer your questions about life in Alaska. Yummy in Washington, D.C. asks, What kinds of games do you like to play? One of my favorite games is Kaka. My friends in Dutch Harbor can teach you. Hi, Molly! We're gonna play a game in Alaska. Alaska is down the Aleutian chain. We basically live on a mountain. We're surrounded by the ocean, so you can't drive here. You either have to take a boat or a plane. We're at a park right above the ocean where all the boats are. Today we're playing this really old game called Kakan. There is two teams and you make three boxes. Each person has a rock and so they try to throw the rock into the squares that each team made. The first square was one point, the second square was two points, and the third square was three points. We're gonna add some rules to make this game more fun. We made a flow diagram so we can remember the rules. Step one is you take a rock and you throw it to the other team's board. If you get any points in step one, you go to step two. Step two is you run around the gazebo. The person from the other team's chasing you. If they tag you, then they get the points run. instead of you. Run. Did you get it? Yeah. Step three is you tag the picnic table and do five jumping jacks. The diagram is also helpful if you want to play the game with friends. They'll know the rules. Run! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Bye, Molly! Masi Cho, thanks for asking, and see you next time. Visit Kaya. Just returning this book, Daniel. Thanks, Molly. It was good, but I usually like something with a little more. Whoa. A little more whoa? Hmm, let me think. <laughs> no, I mean that. That's Denoli. That's right. This book's the latest edition of World Hopper Alaska. What kind of book is that? It's a guidebook. Guidebooks give information about places you can visit. Ooh, let's see what it says about Kaya. Let's see, interior region. Nana, Paxson, Tanana. What? No Kaya? No Kaya? 
how can they say it's the most complete guidebook for places to visit in Alaska if it doesn't include Kaya? Why don't you ask the publisher? I bet you could find their email address on their website. Good idea! If more people knew how special Kaya is, they'd be hopping all over the globe to get here. Masi Cho, Daniel! Uh, Molly? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So I emailed the publisher and told them all the reasons why Kaya should be in it. I'm sure they'll call any minute. I don't know, Molly. It could take days, weeks, or even months for them to call you back. Hey, Mal, there's a call for you from World Hopper, Alaska. Someone named Violetta Lawrence? <gasps> She's one of the writers. That must have been some email. Yes! Okay, stay calm, Molly. Hello, Miss Lawrence? This is Molly Mabray, and you're on speaker at the Denali Trading Post in Kaya. Hi, Molly. You can call me Violetta. I got your very enthusiastic email. Thanks. So what do you think? Will you include Kaya in the next edition of World Hopper Alaska? Well, I can't promise, but you have piqued my curiosity. I'm pretty close to Kaya and could swing by now if that's all right. That sure is. We'll be here at the Trading Post, Violetta. Great. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Yes! She's going to add Kaya to the guidebook. Uh, she didn't exactly say that, Molly. She said she would come for a visit. Then we've got her whole visit to convince her. Looks like each location in the guidebook lists places to sleep, places to eat, and things to do. Well then, we should show Violetta the best places to sleep and eat and all the great things to do right here. Kaya Co-op. Hi, Maurice. It's Molly. Start sizzling up some reindeer sausage. We got a very important guest coming to Kaya. <laughs> I'll spread the word. VIP inbound. Spread the word. Well, that's a moose size 10-4. <laughs> Midge, fire up the radio. Eagle flying in and she's looking to roost. <laughs> Hello? Are you Molly? Yes, you must be Violetta. Welcome to Kaya. Thank you. This is my mom, Layla, and my friend, Tui. Welcome. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. What an amazing store. Masi Cho, thank you. There's a lot more interesting things in Kaya, Violetta. I can't wait to show you. Let's start with places to sleep. This is it, the Trading Post Bunkhouse. The place to sleep in Kaya. Well, the only place, really. It has beautiful wood bunks, extremely comfy mattresses, and a sparkling bathroom that... Excuse me, Molly? Uh-huh? I know you're excited to share everything about Kaya, but in our guidebooks, we don't have space for every detail. So we only include the most important information. Got it. So there are four beds and a bathroom with a shower. That's just the kind of information we need. Quincy, great! All we have to do is show you the most important stuff for places to eat and things to do, and we're in the book! Well, not quite. You didn't mention the most important section of all. It's the unique feature section. Kaya can't have an entry in World Hopper Alaska without it. What's a unique feature? Something about Kaya that's one of a kind, unlike anything else. Okay, hmm, there are so many unique things about Kaya, I don't even know where to begin. Me neither, but I'm starting to get hungry. Important information about Kaya's one place to eat, the Kaya Co-op serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of the week. 
Hope you're not too full on the moose stew and blueberry pancakes, Violetta, because I've got some cornbread and reindeer sausages for you. Mmm. <gasps> and be sure to leave room for dessert. Mmm. Thanks, Maurice. Everything is delicious. Tell me, where did all these postcards come from? Customers. People from all over the world have eaten here. Iceland, South Africa, New Zealand, <laughs> you name it. Even celebrities like Clark Newman. Anchorage's best TV weatherman. Oh. Okay, so now we have a place to stay and a place to eat. Let's show her the things to do in Kaya. Come on! Oh, not so fast. This birch bark canoe that I'm repairing is about 75 years old. How beautiful. Would you say it's unique? Yes, yes I would. Mr. Patuk can make just about anything from wood. Hi, kids! Hey, Connie! Hi, Connie! Welcome to Kaya, Violetta! Thank you. Uh, how did you know my name? <laughs> Word travels fast in a small village like this one. I've come to pick up my canoe. Have you finished repairing it? Yes, it's out back. Hey, do you think you could take us on a trip across the river so Violetta can meet Mr. Rowley? Why not? That's two more things to do at once. Genius. Connie's an Olympic canoeist. She gives lessons to anyone who wants them. And she's the village mechanic, too. Now that's really unique. Molly, is that you? Hi, Mr. Rally. Hello. And you must be Violetta. How did you? Guy is a small village. Word travels, travels fast. fast. We brought Violetta to see your sculptures. Here, see for yourself. Now, Turn toward the wind. <laughs> oh. Plenty more where that came from. Come on, Violetta. We got more Kaya to see. Clubhouse next. That's a great idea. After that, we... Molly? Yes? I wish I had more time, but I have to get back to Fairbanks. Okay. So, do you have enough info about Kaya for the next guidebook? Definitely. Yes! Except... I still need to know what you think is the unique feature of Kaya. Oh. Can you excuse us for a moment? Sure, Molly. I think Maurice's food could be a unique thing in Kaya. Definitely. Or maybe Mr. Patuk's woodworking? But Connie's canoeing is pretty impressive, and Mr. Rowley's sculptures are totally unique. They're all great. How do we decide? If we can't, then we won't have an entry in the guidebook then no one will know about all of the amazing people in Kaya and what they can do. <gasps> That's it! We've got just what you need for your unique feature section on Kaya. Okay. The town of Kaya has a place to stay, a place to eat, and many things to do. But none of those would be possible without the people of Kaya. They're what make Kaya, Kaya. They welcome visitors to learn more about their work and share their lives with them. That's a pretty unique feature. That's perfect. And I couldn't agree more. But it took someone who knows Kaya as well as you do to say it best. Thanks. So can Kaya be in the guidebook? Thought you might like to see this. The new addition arrived. I thought it would never come. Banana. Paxa, Kaya! <gasps> Look, with help from Molly Mabray and Tui Okami! We did it! All right! Woo! Excuse me.
excuse me. Do you know where I can find some information about Kaya? Right here. 